Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm looking at something different, and it's the Super Starter Kit Uno R3 project, and it was sent to me by a company you might have heard of, Elegoo. Now, they might be more famous for their 3D printers, but they also do these little project kits. And these kits are really great to get you or kids started in electronics and programming. Now in this video, I'm going to show you what comes in the kit, how to get it all set up, including the programming environment, and finally, I'm going to run through a project with you. So without further ado, let's get started. So what comes in the box? Well, it turns out quite a lot. Now, of course, the main component is the Uno R3 project board, which is essentially an Arduino Uno board. Now, here's a quick look at what actually comes in the box. And there's even a CD with instructions and examples. And you can agree, there's a fair bit to get you started. You get a little thank you note with contact details if you have any questions. And this is the CD I was telling you about. It contains all your code libraries and example projects. Now, diving into the box, the first thing that strikes me is that it's all pretty well put together. The components look solid and the quality is there to see. So here I've got the connectors and a power cord. There's a little joystick here and an LCD display, which by the way, I'll be using later. There's also an infrared remote here and there's a fan. And I believe this is the ultrasonic sensor for measuring distances. Okay, so I think you'll agree it's a pretty comprehensive kit and it's well worth the 30 to $40 on Amazon. Now in the CD that comes in the box, you get some great starter introductory material. And I do suggest you read it because it covers in detail how every single component works and then goes on to explain how it all fits together to make these little projects they detail. Sample code is also included with the projects on the disk. So if you really do want to understand and learn how these things work, it's well worth a read. Now of course Elegoo do have a website where you can download all the resources you need to get started. Now the next thing I did was download the Arduino IDE software from the Elegoo website. It's available for Windows, Mac and Linux systems. Now this software lets you write code and upload it to the board. Now I found this great Arduino Project Hub website and it's amazing to see what you can actually make with these kits. Now of course you're not going to have everything in the kit to make all these projects, but the extra parts are readily available online and relatively cheap. You could spend hours on these things and enjoy every minute. Okay, so the first project I set my sights on was a relatively straightforward writing text to an LCD screen. So everything you need and all the details are on this website, including component list, pictures, schematic diagrams of the circuit, which you can even download. And there's a great explanation of how it all fits together and how the coding works, section by section. So after roughly half an hour, this is what I ended up with after cross-referencing the diagram. So we've got the circuit, but at the moment it doesn't do anything. We need to program it. And to do this, we need to fire up the Arduino IDE software we downloaded earlier. Now when you first run the program, what you'll see is a bare framework of a program. Your main code will go within this framework. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm using the online tutorial, which have the sample snippets of code already provided. So I just need to scroll down to where the code is listed. And as you can see, the tutorial explains what each line of code does. And the great thing is the code is commented all the way through so you know what it's doing. Now they've conveniently provided a button to copy the code. So I'm going to click on that and then head on over to the Arduino IDE and select all and paste. So you're basically overwriting what's already there. Now, of course, I edited the message that the LCD actually displays. And this is done by selecting the text here and modifying it to your liking. I also edited the timings of the animation. Now this can all be done easily as the code is very well commented. Now, once you're happy, click on the tick here and it will compile your code. Of course, first it will ask you to save it. Then on the bottom, you'll get a message saying compiling done. You're now ready to upload your code to your Uno R3 board. So click on this arrow here and uploading will begin almost instantaneously. You'll get the message done uploading. Okay, now you can watch the fruits of your labor. Just connect the USB power and watch it come to life. Brilliant, I love it. Okay guys, as usual, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.